Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 9th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. Starting out here, we're looking at our sun as we have zero activity except for plasma filaments, no sunspots, sprawl, coronal hole wind stream, elevating our solar wind speeds up to 450 kilometers per second. But really nothing much but the corona of our sun with the activity, plasma filaments. But these plasma filaments can produce CMEs. So stay aware and prepared. Keeping an eye on our sleepy sun. Thank you to the Sol Solar Dynamics Observatory for producing these images of our sun during solar cycle 25. Wow. Love these images. Here we're looking at our solar wind speeds as we had a small increase in the solar wind speeds up to 450 kilometers per second, spiking to 517. Now let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24 hours for earthquakes as the largest earthquake the last 24 hours, believe it or not, was in Tanzania, Africa. And that was last night, 5.5 on the African continent, 10 kilometer depth. There's been a lot of recent earthquakes in Africa. Also watching an increase in an activity South America and as well the North Pole. Wreck Jane's Ridge with a 4.6 and as well the Arctic Ocean with a 4.1 a rare 4.1 in the Arctic Ocean. Very close to the North Pole Also watching an uptick, Alaskan Aleutian Islands and the deepest earthquake here being the 5.1 at a 371 kilometer depth, Papua New Guinea. Watch for a larger shallower earthquake to follow that just that did happen recently overlooking the last seven days for earthquakes. We've seen a lot of deep action. Southeastern Ring of Fire, Southwestern Ring of Fire. And then we're seeing an increase through the Alaskan Peninsula. And as well, the North Pole. With most recent earthquakes, Rick Jane's Ridge and the Arctic Ocean. Overlooking Pacific Disaster Center here, we do still have Tropical Storm Gabriel who's in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, heading towards Europe. And as well, Tropical Storm Dorian, who has been churning for 16 days. Five-day forecast showing heading straight for Iceland. So stay aware and prepare at Iceland. Hurricane Dorian is on its way to you. And then we have Tropical Storm Faxai, who was quickly downgraded from a Category 3 storm after it struck... Japan, leaving a devastating path. Thoughts and prayers for Japan. Get an update for volcanoes recently. Tokono in Indonesia. Fuego in Guatemala. Sabancaya in Peru. Reventador in Ecuador. Popo. And Mount Etna. Volcano Etna erupted yesterday. And then a long list of fires. And if you want more in-depth on the wildfires from around the world, please check out the World Wildfire Report, which I released last night. Overlooking composite images here, the last four days for weather across North America and Canada. Watching a cool down continue. And as well, watching a strong line of storms heading across the upper Midwest and as well throughout parts of Colorado yesterday, 
dropping some tornado alerts. There was also a small tornado alert, Portland, Oregon, last night. Interesting situation on the southeastern seaboard as well. Watching mass evaporation throughout New England states. Right here on the coastline. Watch for extreme weather to hit Ontario and as well Manitoba later in the week. Five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteo Mike. Overlooking the five days here in North America, as you can see, a large low pressure system coming off of the Colorado Rockies heading north northeast going to bring some cooler temperatures and rain and then after that the next storm will be even stronger and head straight for Hudson Bay winter engine getting ready to set up cooler temperatures across Alberta and rain possible snow in the foothills which is not far from here literally 30 kilometers west Overlooking the Pacific Ocean, watching a large low pressure system come out of the Aleutian Islands, head towards Alaska and Northern BC. Watch for these two storms to team up. West Pacific Ocean, still watching a large low pressure system develop here. Could be a tropical storm in the next three days. We'll have to really keep an eye on the solar wind speeds to see if any of these storms get an increase from our sun. Parts of Russia watching a very large and strong low pressure system come from the north, bringing some very cool temperatures. As I said, our winter engine getting ready to set up when we get large lows like this over Russia and as well the Hudson's Bay. I want to thank all of my new subscribers again thank you for joining morning dew daily events worldwide welcome to the family stay aware and prepared get in the comment section say hi let me know where you're from you can end up on this weather map looking over parts of india western india watch for torrential flooding africa daily evaporation watch through parts of portugal this week as well some thunderstorms They're reporting a lot of hail recently throughout Portugal and Morocco. And then watch here as Dorian heads straight for Iceland. That is Tropical Storm Dorian. And then racing around and affecting the United Kingdom later in the week. With some rain and some strong winds. South America. Watch for... Heavy rain and flooding throughout parts of Buenos Aires. And cold temperatures reaching all the way to Chile. All along the western coast of South America. Overlooking our southern hemisphere right now. Temperature anomalies are persisting. And these very large cold lows are really starting to ramp up. So stay aware and prepared. Things are changing drastically during our grand solar minimum. I want to thank everybody for watching today. Have a fantastic day today. Happy Monday to you all. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.
Thank you.